Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Next Term on CosOS using Big Bear CosOS, a third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over a home lab, so installing links, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, next term. It's open source server management software for SSH, VNC, and RDP. Um, it's pretty stable. It seems to work really well, even though it's in preview. Um, so they also have a website you can go to, and you can uh, go here. Um, but I already uh, put it in Big Brook OS, so I made it easy to install with one click. So this is what I'll be installing today. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS, and there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm, go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go over to the search and type next term, and then I'm going to go into it, and then the Docker Compose. So the Cost OS app name is Big Bear Next Term, and then services, and then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Next Term. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Next Term. And this is so Docker doesn't, uh, doesn't have to generate a random name. And then the image right here is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then restart policy is set to unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to set volumes down here. So data, app data, app ID, which is dynamic, and it's gotten from the name up here. And then data, this is on the host side. And then on the container side, it's app data. And then now ports. So 6989 is on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container is 6989. Do not change the container port. And then now X Cosmos information to explain the volumes and the ports. And now we're in the X Cosmos information to explain the app to the app store. So the architecture that the Docker image supports are AMD64 and ARM64. The main service is Big Bear Next Term, and that rhymes with the service up here. And then the description for the app store, the tagline, the developer of the Docker image, and then author, the icon right here. And then thumbnail, the title, and then the category. So people can click on the categories and then go to Big Bear Cost OS and see all the apps from Big Bear Cost OS. And then now port map, so 6989, and that rhymes with the port up here of the host port. And then um, we set it a tips. So before installing it, it comes up and says, read this before installing. So that's a little bit about the Docker and Pose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm gonna start on my Cos OS and I'm going to go to App Store and then search and type next term. And then now you can go into it, press install, and now you can read the documentation before you install it, but I'm gonna say next steps. And what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting it up with Docker Compose underneath because it is using the Docker engine. It's also setting up the uh, volumes and the ports and the network. So we got it up and running. So now you can go in Dozzle and you can see if it's actually a listening. So, uh, so, so it is. So we got it up and running. So now you can look at the files by going in the files app, the app data, Big Bear Next Term right here, click it, and then data. And then and now you can see all the files of your next term. You, you can go up here and you can che check mark all of them. You can come down here and download, copy, cut, delete, and can uh, cancel. 
And then you can also check mark each one. You can go over here and download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, delete. And you can go in here and get, actually see the files. So that's how to see the files in Casa OS. So now I'm gonna go over the app settings. So if you go up to these vertical dots right here, you click it, you can open in the web UI, you can set some tips. This is kind of like a notepad and the before install is already in there. So I'm gonna just say testing and then press the save button right here. And then now to reload the container and say next term is okay. You can go back in there and you can go to tips and you can see it did save. You can go to settings right here and you can change some of the settings and then press the save button. Um, you can come up here to terminal logs and you can go in the container and then logs right here. You can export the Docker and pose in a for formatted file for COS OS right here. You can X out of here. And then um, you can check for updates from Big Bear COS OS right here. And then you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So that's about the app settings. So now let's go in the uh, UI and see if it works. So you can open from here, or you can open from here. So now you can put uh, your first name in. Someone just admin, and then test, and then Big Bear for username, and then the password. And then you can say register right here. So now we're in. So you can go to user settings. Uh, uh, you can go to the account. So first name, last name, you can turn on two-factor authentication. And then you can change password. You can come down here and see the sessions. And then the users. And then you can change the password. You can create a new user. Um, you can come down here and you can uh, add a, a folder and then you can add a, uh, a server. So now you can put a server name in, so testing server. And then you can also change the icon. And then you can come down here and put the server IP in. And then the port is 22. And then SSH, RDP, VNC. To SSH and then identities, you can just put your username and your password in, and then you can change the authentication for key file or password. You can go over to settings, say it's not implemented yet, so that's the preview for you. Um, so I'm going to create, and then now you see the server over here, so you can double click it, and now we're into it. So there we go. And um, you have tabs up here for each server, and you can also search the servers. Um, I, you can come down here, and this is a really cool thing. It's an app store, and you can change the sources. You can also see Git T, um, a MySpeed, and the next term in Uptown Kuma. So if I want to install MySpeed on that server that we just uh, created, I can say deploy. And then not, now you see deploy my, my speed. So I'm going to deploy it to the testing server down here. And then you can see it right over here and it's installing it with Docker. So you can come down here and you can see the logs of what happened. It's pretty neat. And um, you can go over here to the server, double click it. And then now you can see Docker. A. Now you can see my, my speed is up. So um, you can go, go to that instance of the my speed and it should be working. Um, so you can go networking right here, which is the app store still. And then media, that's, uh, it's coming soon, I guess. And then cloud development. And then utilities, these are all categories for um, the app store. And you can also add a new source in. So you can log da out down here and you can also search up here. So my speed and then uh, there we go. So that's a little bit about next term and how it works. 
So I just went over step by step on getting next term working on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS, a third party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.